great. You are much welcome to this pleasant time. It's a great day out there. I'd like to call your attention to something very important. And please, watch me as we move in this journey. Do you know there are several things in marriage that can actually turn a home to a house or turn the marriage to a mirage? One key element is looking for finished product. There are no finished products. And when you get to find one, it may finish you. Okay, let me start on this note. Have you ever imagined that you had always wished to marry someone who is married? No, don't even think about it. I'm not asking you to commit fornication or adultery. I'm only saying that your ideal spouse has always been someone who is married, married to another person. Yes, she's good, she's respectful, she's, all, she's very loyal. I mean, he's a good guy. He gives money regularly to the wife and to the family. He takes them out. And then you wish, how I wish my spouse were to be this or that. Do you know your problem? Would you like if I let you know what problem you have? Yes. Finished product. Those who don't endure will not enjoy it's important you realize that there are no finished products. Whatever you find to be a process or some form of proceed that you like had enjoyed some level of processing. So that woman you see out there, that man you see out there has endured a lot of rigor. Why don't you work on what you want? Why don't you shape on your raw material? to the kind of product you will always want. And may I tell you something? There are several assistant God, you heard me, those who assist God. Uh, and uh, they have certificate and testimonial reports by how many homes they have destroyed. I don't know how else I could picture them, but let me beg you. The scripture says, whatever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. <laughs> there are those who may not be able to join together, but they can put asunder. They have told you the technicalities involved, how that you can leave your husband, how that you can leave your wife so that you can fulfill your ministry, fulfill your life. Don't listen to them. Mm, don't listen to them. Ask any man of God who will genuinely tell you the truth and sincere truth for that matter. There are no agreement without disagreement. Right? There are resolved issues. There are unresolved issues. At the end of the day, we just move on. The reason why you have not had a lot of friction is the oil. Find out what that oil is. If you separate from that man, if you separate from that woman, you may find yourself to blame at the end of the day. That is why whatever happens to you, make up your mind and bend down to work. Marriage is hard work. It takes the diligence to actually shine. If you are, it takes the diligence to actually shine. If you are diligent in your endeavor, in your relationship, you will get the best out of it. Every brood tea endured some level of heat. Now, those who taste a good tea, we enjoy it, but you need to find out how did they get there. You are actually the best for this season. You are the best for this moment. But don't get yourself confused asking questions that don't have answer. If you are there already, work it out. If you are there already, work it out. There is the best of you that is about to manifest. After all, you heard something before you take the move. If we believe God to be full of possibilities, that means if you don't know an answer now, it does not mean there is no answer. It is just that you don't know. 
Why don't you find out from the author of marriage, from the author of relationship, and he will guide you what to do. He will lead you how to go about it. Your life then becomes better and smoother. It is true that God is the God of possibility, but what we don't know is how he will make it possible. Your brain is too small to analyze God. Yes, I know you are intelligent. I know it ought to have been black and it turned out white. But don't give up. It's too early for you to give up because anything can happen. Yes, at a split second, anything can happen. What is the import of this message? Hang on there. Rely on God and let him lead you, let him guide you. Don't give up. Never give up. Because there's a miracle coming your way. And I declare over you, over your family, over your relationship, all will be well. It is possible you have made your mistakes, but God can still turn them to raw materials to mold a miracle. Yes, sir. Don't go through that shortcut. It may cut you short. And as you think through it, the same man who had wanted you to separate and live your separate ways, See, be the one who will celebrate you because at the end of the tunnel, light will shine on your path. And it shall end in praise and turn to you for a pleasant testimony. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Go and succeed.